Okay everyone, here comes my first Sonic video game review. And this game is going to be a compilation game review like I said on my Crash Bandicoot review. It's Sonic Mega Collection for the GameCube and Sonic Mega Collection Plus for the PlayStation 2. So, why are these two games a little different? Well, in Sonic Mega Collection Plus there's a couple other Sonic games like, like Sonic Labyrinth for the Sega Game Gear and plenty other Game Gear games. And as for Sonic Mega Collection, it has all the basic Sonic games that were on the Sega Genesis. And plus, I'm a huge, huge fan of Sonic. And I'm also a huge fan of Mario, but Sonic, oh, he's just so incredible. It's a shame that Sega is now third party. Sega has been third party for a while now. But, but, I think Sonic is the only, you know, third party character that definitely deserves to be in multiple consoles. Not just Nintendo. I mean, when was the last time Sonic had a, had a PlayStation exclusive game? The only Xbox exclusive game of Sonic would be Sonic Freeriders for the Xbox Kinect. But, when, when will there be ever a Sonic PlayStation exclusive game? Well, we find out probably by next year. Because Sonic Boom's gonna be out for the 3DS and Wii U. And then there's the Sonic Cartoon that will be in Cartoon Network, which will also be called Sonic Boom. So, yeah. These both have all the games for the Sonic games for the Sega Genesis. Like, see, look, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, um, Mo um, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Sonic 3D Blast, and Sonic Spinball. And what about the PlayStation 2 version? Just like all the other ones, Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Mr. or Mr. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Spinball, and a few additional Sonic Sega, Sega Game Gear games. And then there's also some secrets, just like the GameCube version, except that the GameCube version has a few clips from um, Sonic um, Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Remember that game? Sonic Adventure 2 for the Sega Dreamcast, and later was re-released for GameCube. Why wasn't Sonic Adventure 2 also available for PS2? Wouldn't that be great if Sonic Adventure 2 was also re-released for PlayStation 2? I guess probably Sega's now best friends with Nintendo now, so... So come on, Sega. Have some more fun with Sony for, for one time, okay? I don't even know why people even like Sony anymore. Not even Xbox. I guess Nintendo's now the, the king of video games now. While Atari broke down after the Atari Jaguar. I suppose probably right after... Probably right after, right after I guess maybe um, the PlayStation 4. I guess guess Nintendo will beat the will beat the PlayStation 4 with the Wii U. Probably because of Smash Brothers coming out. And since that Mario Kart 8's been out for a few months now, it's been great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review because I love Sonic games. I wish I had a Sega Genesis, but if you all love to play Sonic the game. Sonic games, if you have a PS2 or a GameCube, check these games out for a try, in case if you're, if you don't have a Sega Genesis or any other Sega console that's, you know, 16-bit. Because the only game that's missing on these two games is Sonic CD, and I think, I don't know, I think Sonic for the Sega Master System, maybe? I don't know. So, I hope you guys enjoy this review. I, like I said, I should recommend you these two games if you own a GameCube and PS2. So, and it was also and plus this game, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, is also available for PC and Xbox. So if you don't have a PS2 or GameCube, get this game for Xbox and PC. So I hope you guys have a great night or a good morning. So rock on.